What's up? Yeah. Yeah. My brother. Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, why don't we work on that later? Like, it. like. Bloop. <laughs> hey, that worked. Yeah. But, but we um, need to work on it more. Yeah, we need to work on it more. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, Hello. this is Pastor Trenton from Life Mission U, what's and up? my name is Gabe, and I want to give a special shout out to all of our friends watching online, and especially all of our friends at our Olathe campus. What is yeah. up? Did you say hi to Miss Sarah? I wonder if Mr. Mike is there, Miss Diane is there. We got so many great people that are part of our campus there at Olathe, and hey, Life Mission Youth, I don't know if you know about this, but when you go into 6th grade through 12th grade, it is popping, it is awesome. So if any of you have any older brothers or sisters or whatever, you need to make sure that you tell them to be there. And also, we'll be moving up in August, so like yeah. if you're in 5th grade, Come you on. can be there. So Come like if you're over. part of Squad 45 and you're a 5th grader, which by the way, that's coming up in January, you can be part of Squad 45. And if Pastor Trenton's there, um, he's not the best at um, dodgeball, so like you can totally wait <laughs> And like he's like standing there and he's like, uh, and he just totally Come on. we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so, um, okay. So we'll we'll we'll, we'll see. But yeah. I'm telling you what, you got a bunch of stuff planned for 2022 already. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. But I I can't talk about it just yet. But I'm telling you, Life Mission Youth, it's gonna be awesome. You need to be there. And and also, if you're sixth grade through twelfth grade, it's at our Olathe campus. Yep. And it starts on Wednesday. Wednesdays. Wednesdays. And you can be there at 6 o'clock because like, you can do all kinds of stuff. Dodgeball. Right. Dodgeball. Nine square. Nine square. Four square. Four square. Two square. Two no, square. Okay. But you got playing. video games. You got yeah. all kinds of stuff. And like, do you practice on the dodgeball since remember? Because like, if you go to squad 45, we're going to. Yeah. Like, you, you're going to need some help. Practice. But, yeah. For yeah. my sixth grade. Yeah, like, like we gonna get, up. yeah, we move up. In the summer, okay, yeah. all right. So, so again, like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so hey. Uh, anyway, I want to say thanks for Pastor Trent being here, and I'm telling you what, I'm thankful that you guys are here. Man, it's going to be a great day. Thanks for coming to Life Mission Church. All right, everybody, I don't know, Pastor Trent, I don't know if you know this or not, but I want to tell everybody who's watching because it's the first of the month. At the first of the month, huh? we celebrate birthdays. Oh, so I know snap. that this month, it's your birthday, right? So <laughs> happy birthday! Thank you! Yeah, like, like it, it, it's, it's your birthday. birthday. Is, is it your birthday this month? Well, when I was growing up, I counted half birthdays, so it's my half birthday. No, we, we, don't, we don't do half yeah. birthdays. It's like, yep, my if mom you're, told me. No, your mama's awesome. I love Miss Linda, but like, but like, no, it's like if you were born in the month of oh, January, uh -huh. we want to say happy birthday to oh. you. Cause, so we celebrate all the birthdays at the beginning of the month. Mm. So you're telling me you had a half birthday. Yeah. And you're no, telling no, 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 me no. that doesn't count. No, it, it's your full birthday. So like if you were born on January 1st or till the end of the month, then it's your like, it's okay. your, full birth, for your full birthday. So, oh, I gotta say something to my wife, Miss Jackie. She's born on the 29th, so like, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Miss Jackie. Yeah, so that's not her half birthday, that's uh -huh. like her real birthday. Okay. Which, um, can you help me get a birthday present? Yeah, I can. You can? Because, mm -hmm. um, I, I haven't gotten one, and I need to get one. So, like, if you'll help me, that'll be cool. Amazon. Amazon, that's right, that's okay. okay. Amazon. All right, so if you have any birthday suggestions, um, l let me know. Yeah. <laughs> and um, hey, did you know that like it, it's a brand new year? Brand new. So like you know how you write stuff down like you write 2021? Mm -hmm. It's 2022. 2022. Mm -hmm. So like it's a whole new year. So like you get to like start over. So like 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 what you were doing or all that other stuff, it's like it gone. <laughs> like they, they gone, and like you get to start over with a brand new year. It's so cool. I'm so glad that we get to start over, yeah. and we get times to just you know sometimes just refresh things. Now I don't know if you know or not, and maybe some of our friends that are watching know that each month at Life Mission Church, Life Mission Kids, is that we have a memory verse, and our memory verse this month is First Chronicles 16:11. And I don't know if you heard. It. I'm gonna Let's read. It. It. It's seek the Lord in His strength. 
seek his presence continually. I'm going to say it again. First Chronicles 16, 11. Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his presence continually. And so when I think about that, and I think about us starting a new year, how perfect is that as we start things off to seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually. So I need to ask you a question. Come on. Okay. Have you ever had to like seek for something? Like maybe it was like a controller, like you try and find a controller or like maybe it was a, like a sock. Like I don't know like where <laughs> socks go. Like have you ever tried to find socks Randomly or something? Gone. Yeah. And then like you had to like, try to find something like your mom. Like, hey, where, Trenton, where is that? Where'd you put it? And all of a sudden like you go and like you scramble and you're trying to find stuff. Like there's like all kinds of things. When I hear the word seek, yeah. I think of like, well, I gotta go find something. Where is it? I, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking for wherever things are. So I was wondering, mm -hmm. what are some things, and, and, and I'll ask you guys too, what are some things that maybe that you're seeking for this new year? And, and what, what is that? Oh, you better go find that right now. Your, your mom wants you to bring that back. I need to go. Yeah, go get that. You You're better right. go find it. Okay, right. all right, I'll see you. All right, so again, like I was asking Pastor Trenton, what are some of the things that you think you might be seeking for this new year? Yeah, so uh, I don't know where Pastor Trenton went. I know that he was uh, trying to seek to find some things. And uh, I'll admit that I kind of have to seek to find some socks. Where do they go? Yeah, and I have to seek to find different things. But we're talking about 1 Chronicles 16, 11. Our, our memory verse for this month. You know, and this month, it's January. It's a brand new year. And we get to start all over. And when we're starting all over, I think one of the best verses is one of these. It's 1 Chronicles 16, 11. It's seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his presence continually. Now, can we dig a little bit deeper? And no matter where you're at, whether you're at Ottawa, whether you're at Olathe, whether you're Kansas, Kansas, whether you're at home, maybe it's your grandma's house or your cousin's house or like my cousin Ray Ray, like I've asked for my controller, but okay, all right, all right, anyway. But everyone say, dig a little bit deeper. Yeah, dig a little bit deeper. I wanna dig a little bit deeper into what we're hearing here. Seek the Lord in his strength, seek his presence continually. So. Can I ask you a question? Um, why should we seek the Lord? Yeah, like, I'm gonna ask you a question. Why should we seek the Lord? Like, like we hear this verse, but like, why should we seek the Lord? Great question. If you actually, in your Bible, if, if we look right there, and you read before that, I think you'll find some good answers. And I think you'll actually, as you look within your Bible, you'll find even more about seeking the Lord. But if you don't mind, I want to go through, and it's actually before, everyone say before, 1611. And it even talks about that. And why should we seek the Lord? Because of his wonderful acts, right? Because of his wonders and miracles. Well, because of how he keeps his promises and his commitments about how he protects his people, about because he made the heavens, how he is full of strength and joy because of the power in his name, because he is good and his love endures forever. Well, I think those are just a few and those are some wonderful reasons and awesome reasons why we should seek after the Lord. Notice we're not sneaking, seek, sneaking, seeking after the Lord of someone who, hey, they're really good at video games, or hey, you know what, they can really do this really cool trick. But no, we're seeking out the Lord and all those things. So I want to tell you that, you know that God, in reality, he's really not that hard to find. Now I know that sometimes we go and we go to look to seek for things and some things are hard to find, like ask your parents sometimes to try to find their car keys or I've tried to find stuff. Or they're trying to find their phone and like, where's my phone? And it's like, oh, it's right here. But when it comes to seeking God, he's not that hard to find. But do you know that when you go to seek for something, it requires, well, action. 
You can't ask me to say, hey Gabe, will you go seek and find that? And I say, yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? Well, I'm just standing still. I'm, I'm not doing anything. See, when we go to seek the Lord, it requires action. So what action are you taking? What action are you taking when you go to seek after the Lord? All right, so we talked about seek and about how that was action, but you know there's more to the verse about seek the Lord and his strength and seek his presence continually. Now, did you notice that it was his strength, not my strength? Now, I'll tell you, when I grew up, there was a lot of people that I thought were really strong. And I thought, man, if I took my vitamins and if I worked out, I'd be as big and as strong as them. But when it's talking about seek the Lord and his strength, it's not our strength. It's not seek the Lord and what I can do for me to be stronger. No, it's seeking his strength. Seeking his strength through his word, through prayer. There's so many ways that we can seek his strength. And also to seek his presence continually. And it's a great reminder that whether we're in good times or bad times, and I don't know about you, but especially this last year, I've had some bad times. And that's one reason why I'm so glad as we start a new year and we're able to start fresh, that no matter what has happened, no matter what is going on, is that we can seek him continually, no matter what is happening. So remember, 1 Chronicles 16, 11, seek the Lord in his strength, seek his presence continually. So how will you be seeking? How will you be seeking the Lord, his strength, and his presence continually in your life.